So I'm here at Wheels and Wings in Lake City, Florida. I'm going to talk to Herman today and get an update what's going on with the UL Power turbo engine, the six-cylinder turbo that came out just uh, recently. So for the Super Duty, we designed together with UL Power uh, Belgium a new engine mount, which, uh, which we have several in stock. Uh, it's specifically made for the, the six-cylinder 520 model engines, either the turbo or the 520 uh, I or IS uh, versions. And it goes on on the Super Duty airframe, which is uh, it's it's designed so the the weight and balance and the CG is all properly uh, in there, so we don't have to uh, juggle with adding weight, which we don't want to. It's if you have to compensate for putting weight in the tail, you got the right engine. Uh, that is. Not what did I say, right? The wrong you engine. You got the wrong engine. <laughs> well, how could I make that? Well, it's probably too hard. So what are you envisioning so far where things are going to be placed like the intercooler and stuff so far? So the, the UL power comes standard with the exhaust and with the baffles, etc. So we, we're planning on putting the intercooler on top here and then uh, get a RAM intake so to stay into the, 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 the sports cars with, uh, with their intake so to be guiding yeah, over the over the nose is one of the options. The other option would be right, right here. It in the do something like a cow yeah. cow induction. Yeah, that's that's one of them. But um, we are still we're still thinking about it because if you do stall competitions, short takeoff and landings, you don't have much airflow over the plane. So we um, we work. All right, so taking a trip across the air park, uh, Herman's got another storage hangar here. He's, he's growing leaps and bounds here, so he needs more space. This is number three. We're going to have to build him a, a big hangar to encompass everything he does. But Working on it. We're going to talk about the UL Power. What's the uh, denotation for this? It's the 520 Turbo. The 520 Turbo. It's so. a turbo normalized uh, 520i motor, which uh, is a 220 horsepower up to 15,000 feet. Okay, so I'm going to get out of frame for a minute. Focus on Herman and the engine, and let, let him walk around the engine real quick. We have the 520 UL Power turbo engine on the Super Duty airframe here. Um, this is actually the first one mounted in the US uh, with uh, our custom made engine mount. Our good friend John Humbert, I want to give put his name in there, he's designing his own engine mount. He's going to use the same engine for, the, for his uh, Super Stall. Um, it has, as you can see, we already uh, started laying out the fuel pumps and the fuel filters. We have a wastegate on here. Uh, we do have the cylinder head temperature gauges of the, the sensors installed. The EGTs are installed. A um, little different, we have a float bracket here. The, this plane is going to go on floats. It's also, uh, if you do that, you also have to put uh, spaces in other points on the engine mount so you keep the same offset for your um, for your engine mount and baffles are on they will be trimmed matching the cowling come standard with the engine the exhaust is standard with the engine we have a uh, an oil pump here with a scavenger pump in included to get the oil back from the turbo uh, it's a beautiful piece of machinery as you can see on this side we have the turbo. The, the turbo engine is based on the 520i, so it has the, it's the low compression version. And at the back side we have the turbo. So to make this all work, uh, we spoke over about an intercooler a little earlier, so we have to make an intercooler on this uh, setup. It is... Uh, let's, talk, let's talk about that for a okay. second. What, what is the difference from the normally aspirated to this engine uh, other than the turbo and the intercooler? What, what other things installation-wise or operational? Um, well, operational, uh, going up turbo normalized means that you are having um, your sea level power up until, in this case, 15,000 feet. So you, you're not giving up power. If you have a regular engine, you, you lose half of your power if you get up over 10,000 feet even. Um, so this is a single lever operation, as they call it, it's FADEC. So we have a computer who does the, the air and fuel ratio. So the only thing is you start the engine and it's a, it's a simple operation. You don't have to mess with any, um, any leaning, etc. 
it, it is a little bit more complicated because of, of having the, an intercooler. You need to have more space to put your intercooler on. You get your, your lines. You, um, it's, it's, it's more complex with the installation. So is this specifically a turbo normalizer? Is it not running much boost beyond that? It's not, mon no, it's not running much boost beyond that. It's turbo normalized. What I mean, what I mean is going from turbo normalized to another typical turbo where you, you're dialing more boost for more power. Yeah, that's a total different point. Uh, that has not been the UL power goal too. Because if you if you run turbo and you go for higher power, you put more stress on the engine. And we built the UL power built the engine on durability. Okay, so, so for clarity for people, this is the, the the turbo option offered is to turbo normalize. So you're not losing power above sea level. Correct. It it compensates for uh, your thinner air going up so then the turbo boost will compensate if you if you go higher the turbo will push more air in it to simulate sea level pressure. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com Airtech Coatings at AirtechCoatings.com Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. The turbo will push more air in it to simulate sea level pressure. That's the main thing. So being this is not a gear driven engine, it's direct drive, you're going to be a little bit lower RPM than some. What size prop will you be able to run on this? Uh, we will be running uh, on this side, and um, uh, I have the prop actually in the hangar. It's a Duke prop. It will be a three blade Duke prop. Um, it's been 76 inches. So it's the new Duke Cobra prop. Um, we have another one coming, which will be the fully electrical adjustable one um, for this engine. So it's, it will take um, a serious prop to transfer all the torque and power up to uh, thrust and we believe the Duke the other uh, other available propeller is an Air Master. Air Master builds a four blade uh, propeller electric uh, constant speed prop which is also an option. Okay and what would this compare to I know that, uh, on this airframe we're talking engines today but on this airframe it's popular to use a Lycoming uh, somewhere around the 180 to 200 yeah, horse. Yeah, you need a 180 horsepower at least. It's the IO360. You can get that in 180 horse or 200 horse, or there are a couple of variables with custom builds up to 210 horsepower. And this is the horsepower on this again? 220 at 2700 RPM. That's low RPM for the power. Yes, because that's it's. Uh, that's how they build it, how they designed it. Your cruise RPM will be about 2600. And what is the price point compared to the Lycoming for this? Well, this engine runs a little bit depending on the exchange rate, but um, I'll set my prices. I'm, I'm your importer also in the US. I'll set my prices mostly for two months at a time. This one at the moment runs about $54,000. Um, I'm not up to date with the Lycoming pricing, but that's probably about 10,000 more. But here, your engine will be at least 70 to 80 pounds lighter. So with this turbo engine... And, and that's comparing a turbocharged engine, which is this, to a normally aspirated Lycoming. That's correct, yes. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. So uh, are you going to be at Oshkosh? I suppose uh, UL Power will be there. Yes, I just canceled this morning with Sebastian Hines from Zenit that I won't be at Oshkosh. I'm just too busy, so I go. Well, that's and a miss good problem to have. Off. Yeah, that's true. Uh, UL Power has their factory booth at Oshkosh. It's in the experimental area. It's actually behind uh, the Zenit booth. Um, our colleagues Robert Helms and um, Ray Ray will be there. Ray Lawrence uh, will be there. So you can check with them at the UL Power trailer. Uh, there might be somebody from Belgium coming in. 
Um, Somebody from the home office, okay. Yes, and I have to I have to pass this year. We've got too much going on, which is a good thing. So. Well, the good thing is you won't have to buy a new pair of shoes to walk the several miles of, of runway back and forth. I just did a month ago, so I could walk them <laughs> in, you know. So, but, Every yeah. year I buy a new set of shoes to go to Oshkosh. You just walk so much, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, and I'm going to miss it, uh, but uh, we got other... Um, we got other things to do, so. Understand, that's a good yeah. problem to have. Yeah, well, but if you wanna... I, I want to say that we do have our open house in December again. Here? First, uh, yeah, in okay. Cannon Creek with a, with a rudder workshop. And we, I will be at the Zenith Homecoming with, uh, in September. hopefully with a couple planes from Florida, if the weather is, uh, is good. But there's a lot up in the air, literally. Nice, so. nice. Well, if you want to put your hands on one of these engines uh, yourself here at Oshkosh, as he said, UL Power will be out there and you can talk to possibly a factory representative yeah. or one of the owners of the company like I did last year. So, uh, yeah. yeah, well, thanks for the quick tour on the Thank second you. storage location at your place here. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for following along on our quick take update on Herman's 520 turbo installation. You can find Herman online at wheelsandwings.net and check out this engine during Oshkosh 2023 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin.